everybody dre here and welcome to the invasion of the deer why are they all charging my pace at the same time anyways welcome back to another episode of going medieval what is jacosa doing right now dude must have went for a midnight snack or something oh he's literally going for a midnight snack we're gonna have to build a bigger farm with jacosa around and i know exactly where to do that and it's in the enchanting town of portia thanks to this video's sponsor my time at portia in my time at portia you start your new life by restoring your pa's old neglected workshop to its former glory by fulfilling commissions growing crops raising animals and befriending over 50 quirky inhabitants in this charming post-apocalyptic land there's there's loads to do around the town and the direction you go is up to you. Maybe you want to get married and have children and run a simple farm, or you can become an adventurer and explore the dangerous ruins looking for terrifying monsters. Maybe you want to run the biggest workshop Porsche has ever seen. How you want to live your life is completely up to you. The game is already a hit on PC, but now it's coming to iOS and Android with a complete redesign of its UI and controls to better suit a mobile experience, while keeping 100% of its original PC version's gameplay. If this sounds interesting to you, be sure to check out the links in the video description to join the pre-registration for iOS and Android. Thanks again to my time at Porsche for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the kingdom of Dreytardia. So plans today. Well, we want to survive winter. That would be great. We're going to put up this giant wall and test this out to see if this works to give my arches a little bit more defense. I also want to design some sort of archer tower, I think, uh, for over here because now we have an issue that all my doors kind of have this safety net. If they get inside the zone, my archers can't hit them, obviously. So if I design some sort of bridge from the top that comes over, you know, a little bit further down here that they can shoot this way, that will allow my doors to be a hell of a lot more safe and we don't have to rely on Elena and her beautiful spear. So I think those are the main things I want to get. I'd also like to maybe bring the cookery down to our frozen cellar, but we'll see how far we can get. I also want to do some upgrades for obviously all of our armor because we're getting to that point where our armor's decent, but we got to really start working on trying to get the good armor because I think we're going to start running into some issues. All right, so let's start off by designing something here. We're going to want to do a giant pillar so we have some support beams. And then we're just going to make some sort of limestone pathway. I don't know how far I want to go. Why would that... I guess we still have to wait for them to be built. That makes sense. But we can get the pathway going over here. All right, so there we go. Something like this should be great. The other benefit of this I didn't really think about till now is we can maybe block off these side areas here and add more doors the more doors we have the more they obviously have to break down to get in so that would just add another layer of defenses to this already pretty defensive place actually you know what i'm gonna do i don't know if this angle will still be good enough so we're gonna we're gonna redesign this a little bit all right so there we go that actually i think that looks really cool we can guarantee to at least get one archer shooting down here and that's all we really need. We just want to make sure one archer can at least hold the door and keep other ones nice and high so they hopefully shoot further. So I just want to continue doing the research, getting further into this. Uh, we really got to get the textbook started. For whatever reason, she's still doing Chronicles. So that actually reminds me. Maybe I should just tell her to not do these for the time being. So we'll pause that and then hopefully she'll go over and start doing these. Because uh, she seems to prefer the Chronicles for whatever reason. All right, Noth, I just want to try something and we'll test it on Blake. Okay, I, I can't believe you can do this. Okay, test confirmed. Thank God you missed Blake. I just wanted to make sure he could shoot over this. Let's just, I guess, make sure. He, I don't think he's going to one-hit Blake. Come on, Noth. Blake's just sad. You're essentially my training dummy, Blake. I'm so sorry, Noth. You are the worst archer I've seen in my life. The best builder... But the worst freaking archer. No wonder why these guys get to... No, that's that's five shots, dude. Maybe I built my wall too tall because these guys can't aim. Maybe he doesn't want to kill him because he's a friend. I honestly wonder if that's a thing or if he's just this bad. Like, Noth, I just want to make sure this wall isn't going to ruin us if we get attacked. God damn it, just hit him once. Yes! I'm sorry, Blake. I'm so sorry. I just had to confirm... It would bother me forever if I didn't do that. Blake doesn't even, he isn't even bothered, man. He just keeps cutting. That's why I love Blake, man. Uh, that's not a good timing. God damn it, we got wolves again. Oh, Jesus, I hate these guys so much. All right, last time we, we, we made the mistake of going out there and trying to kill them. This time, I think we're just going to hopefully range them all. Oh, they're smarter than the humans. They wait outside of the range, though. Look at this. 
do they actually know or are they just chilling by the woods over there god damn it all right well we gotta take a risk guys i can't have these guys being out alone with a pack of wolves so hopefully we can actually fight these guys come on they're scared of me there we go there we go seems like we're okay osmond you don't have a weapon <laughs> god damn it he still didn't pick one up archers kill the one on you you guys are not very defensive this is great for melee training so i'm not complaining i would really not like to lose one of my guys though run osmond run run away okay everybody help osmond he's gonna freaking die god for the love of god help osmond <laughs> i hope they don't get inside with him all right osmond i think i think you're okay Whew. all right well that went a hell of a lot better than my first wolf attack we had one close call. Osman seen better days, but he should heal up. Everybody else was totally fine. And there we go. We got meat for the winter time. Good job, guys. The race is on. Noth versus Oz. Look at look at Noth. So much faster. He's built this whole castle. So, yeah, he's a little bit more efficient. Okay, we got that done. I've been having issues getting them to do these. So we'll see if we put those there, if they will. Yeah, see, whenever I try and get them to build this, it says it has no stability. And the same thing with the support. So what I think I might need to do, kind of a bummer, but I have limestone to waste, I guess, is maybe build limestone from the bottom all the way up as well. That's going to be the easiest way to deal with this. And it's not like we don't have limestone to get rid of. Okay, but God damn it, as you can see by Elena, it works. Now, it's a little over-engineered. I didn't want it to be this big, but... Yeah, I was having problems putting that little platform down. So the only downside of this is obviously there's a lot more areas for the enemies to hide behind. So what I think we'll do next is go a little overboard with the traps. I still don't have enough of the contraption pieces. So I think I'm going to focus on building a crap load of those and just filling this area with traps. That way, even if they can't be shot, they should hopefully die due to the traps. All right, and good news, our castle wall's done as well. They are slowly working on all the sides. I should have a guy blacksmithing now. <gasps> oh, that makes so much more sense. Skill level not met. I wish it showed. There's got to be somewhere where it shows the skill level you need to build the mechanical components. Smithing is 20. Perfect, right there. So we just got to find somebody with a smithing of 20. All right, so our only one that can do it is Osric. All right, good to know. All right, so I prioritize. He's going to build those like crazy now, and we're going to have traps all around here. This is going to be fun to see once we get attacked how useful these metal traps are because we, ha we haven't really upgraded the traps much. We had stick traps which were the most basic of ones well we've dealt with this before hopefully these guys should be okay i should heat the room more up a little bit more i thought i had two of these fire things in here i'm gonna throw a couple more down just to make sure these guys are nice and warm uh we should survive it but obviously the warmer they are generally the better okay so the next thing i want to do let's head downtown into our storage as you can see we still have lots of storage down here which is fantastic so I'm going to build a little underground cooking place over here. I just put more pillars down just to play it safe. You, can't, you can never have enough pillars when, you know, your whole castle can crumble if the ground goes out. It's actually going to need to be a pretty big place because we need this. Um, that's the ales. We can keep that upstairs. We want the meat, the butcher, as well as the um, smoked meat rack over there. So, yeah, we're going to have to have a whole little room down there. Well... That's what I worried about. I swear I have been taking my time. What else got destroyed over here? Well, the bed didn't get destroyed at least. But yeah, you can see where the whole area that got destroyed. Did I go too crazy? I mean, I was told it's too away from any pillar that it can hold up. So it looks good to me, but we're going to cancel the rest of this because uh, I have to rebuild my damn castle now. This is the downside of digging underground. Even when I try so damn hard to make sure this place is safe, it still kicks me in the ass down here. So yeah, structural stability is a thing in this game, kids. So yeah, we still have two giant holes in the ground. And ugh, do I have to really do another pillar? That's so frustrating. It's like they changed the physics of the game and now you need more poles or something. So the question is, do I put a pole right by this bed or not? There's gotta be a different way I can do this. Again, I think the best option is use the wooden beams. Thing is, I can't really put any more wooden beams on because every freaking pillar has wooden beams already. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use maybe even two pillars. Hopefully not. Ah, what? Now it works? 
I, I literally changed nothing. And now, okay, sometimes the whole physics aspect of this is extremely buggy. This one still doesn't like it, but that one's fixed for whatever reason. So just because I'm way too impatient to troubleshoot this, we're going to stick a giant pillar, like a sore thumb right there, just to fix it. Oh my god, what? How is this not near a stable structure? Okay, it's, it's, it seemed to work now when, it, when, it, when I yelled at it. <laughs> oh, sometimes I wish you could just limitlessly build in this game, but I do appreciate that, you know, you have to have structural stability. Anyways, we should have enough room down here now. Um, thing is, I might even build, this is my moat over here, so I might build a walkway out. That way, it's just quicker for pathing. They can come in down the stairs if they want or from the moat. All right, it won't be the prettiest because I got to deal with these pillars, but we can put one in every area in the side here that has a pillar. So I needed three things. Uh, the smokehouse. I wonder, can I fit that back there, you think? Uh, that's not going to work. I guess I'll just put it right here like that. Again, it will be ugly, but it will work. And then the other, the other thing we need is the butchering table. That should definitely fit over on the other side. Oh, maybe not. I only put that one out, so we'll have to mine that out. Hopefully, don't have another cave in. I'm, I'm only going to mine it there. And we'll put that butchering table down and move everything downstairs. Perfect. Okay, so now we have all of the food based items underground perfect that's actually really exciting it's just going to help with travel times and then i have more room up here as we slowly expand out so we're just going to delete this delete this and now look at all this room we have in here um we should get some more unlocked sooner or later so we'll definitely fill up this place but for now that's good Ooh, you know what? I have fletching too. I can get to crossbows now. I feel like crossbows will be a good idea to spend the first little bit of my books. I have been unlocking the textbooks. So yeah, I think we will unlock that. Again, I'm really focused on range with this run. So I think that makes sense. There's not much else that I truly do need. Obviously getting some good armor will be good. Um, I could, I think I could unlock steel as well if I want. Where did I see that? Ah, there it is right there. That probably makes sense to unlock. So we'll unlock steel. We'll start making some steel so we can get some steel weapons. Oh, great. The quest for mechanical components continues. I guess it makes sense, but I'm going to need those for the crossbows as well. So we'll slowly get our guys, hopefully some decent crossbows. Might not be today though, because we're using mechanical components everywhere now. Oh, great. Another cold spurt. Anyways, a little bit of an update. We have hit the moat wall here, so I got to mine the wall next. I got to make sure I'm doing this in the right area. I also got to add doors here because you got to remember this is a room. We don't want the outside heat coming in here, so hopefully this should work. All right, please don't break anything. Please don't break anything. <laughs> That's all I'm worried about because I don't know. Yeah, there's got to be enough support here, obviously. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They, they kind of need headroom. Hopefully, if I mine one more out, I can put a staircase here. Can you guys please mine this? Where are you guys going? I mean, I guess it is farm season now. I guess yeah, I'd rather you guys do that, but I want to get this done. All right, if this doesn't work, I'm going to be so mad because I've spent so much freaking time on this. Just let me do some stairs here. God, it has to work now. Thank the Lord. One part is now I have to enclose this. We're going to put doors right here. Because, again, we got to keep this thing a room. I know it's really hard to see, guys. I'm sorry, but it's, it's, it's a tight space. But, yeah, we're just going to have a door on every side of that staircase. And that should keep the room nice and cold. Now I just got to figure out how to deal with this giant hole in the ground. Wow, I've actually run out of uh, limestone. That's actually amazing. I used it all. I did it. All right, well, we're going to have to mine more in my, my limestone mine. Actually, I got a bunch down here, isn't it? Yep, I just got to build a staircase down. Simple enough. Okay, I was still having temp issues, so I guess I could have did this to, instead of doing this really complex thing over here, but it's built now, so we're keeping it, damn it. So I just added two more doors here. And yeah, we have a nice, stable 5 degrees Celsius in here. Could be a little colder, but it is springtime, so it's getting warmer out. So that has been dealt with. Uh, there's no more holes in the ground. Everyone's happy again, and my kingdom is much, much bigger. I haven't been attacked in a long time. I haven't had any residents come either, which is kind of a bummer. But I guess I can't complain when I'm not getting attacked. This actually looks so cool. It's like part of my kingdom now. Oh, I love it. Finally, we have a new person to enjoy. Muriel has joined us. Well, not yet. I'm going to allow her. Um, I don't think she's a slave, so... What's she good at? Uh, she's good at carpentry smithing. Ooh, we got a new smither as well. Okay, so that's actually good because uh, I think my highest was 21 with Osric. 
now 22 so now we have two decent ones which would be great because we need more of those components all right i was worried everybody was scared of me but finally we got some mindless assassins what the hell is that oh my god they have a battering ram i'm a little scared where are they coming from though Okay, so this side, great. We have a full thing of traps here. There's one side they're still working on, but both of these sides that they should attack on are good. I also just changed some weapons around. Blake has a really good longbow, so hopefully that's some added range there. It was really good timing because I was kind of prepping. I knew they would come sooner or later. It's been like half a year since we've been attacked. All right, so we'll get all the archers on the wall, do the typical... Uh, try and defend the door with the spear. And yeah, test out these new structures. See if they actually work or not. It's looking like it's going to be our farm here, which worries me. I don't know if my farm's gonna get in the way. I don't know if I can shoot through it or not. But yeah, we'll start moving our archers over here. All right, it's looking like we can shoot through. Perfect. Nice shot, Blake. 25 with that thing. What we really got to focus on is Edmund. Okay, you know what? I think there's only one over here. We're going to bring the archers over on the other side again. It, it, it doesn't make sense to keep half my team over with one guy. We'll bring Elena over to that wall. Looks like Alfred's going in. We're going to see that in a second. I, I, I'm so glad you can pause because trying to do this real time would be a freaking nightmare. All right, I don't think elena will actually need to even go over there we have all those traps i don't think doyle's surviving the traps so let's see how good those traps are oh they don't actually do as much damage oh that one did a lot maybe that first one was a stick trap what i want to see is does this thing actually work and yes indeed this structure does this is great oh god oh wait 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 why are we not shooting edmund because these guys are going to use all these traps we need to get edmund down right freaking now oh god where is he going where are you go- uh oh Oh, Jesus Christ. What are you doing outside, Jacosa? No wonder why they're going this way. Run inside. Thank you. All right, it's looking like Edmund's going down. He decided to turn back. <laughs> I'm gonna stop freaking out so much. I think we'll be okay here. I'm just so glad my structures work. This is truly beautiful. Oh, God, these doors. I mean, I can even make them better by putting more doors around here. So until they get some sort of huge siege weapon or actually start using archery, uh, yeah, I, I think we're totally fine. We are so defended here. <laughs> they didn't even get close to getting in either with all these traps here. This is great because these things, I think they get reset, so they're pretty much there forever now hard to make but definitely worth the time pretty much this whole episode was actually building those you just didn't see much of that all right and the kingdom's back to normal once again finally we got attacked i was worried we weren't gonna get attacked in this episode but uh yeah it worked well it worked really well honestly this kingdom is so fortified i think we should be okay for a while here i'm hoping we get a huge siege attack soon because i want a challenge damn it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode we're gonna wrap it up here in the next episode i really want to start working on getting their gear better hopefully we can get into steel so we can make better weapons and just keep ahead of the enemies as we have been doing this whole time so yeah as always guys thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one